You better hurry down if you're hoping to get some breakfast because remember how I was serving so much bacon <laughs> earlier? This is why they kept telling me, not so much bacon, Sarah, not so much bacon. Luckily, there is more being prepared in the back, so not to worry if you haven't made your way down yet. There's plenty of food left. Things will be running here until about 9.30. Now, we've had some great celebrity servers here this morning. Allow me to introduce, although you don't really need much of an introduction, Chief Bordelow. Good morning, sir. How good are morning. you? Good morning. Very good, very good. Got a great morning. Lots of energy in the room. Can you believe the turnout? It's excellent. Yeah, lots of good music. People getting their heads shaved, all for a great cause. Yeah, we are dancing over there in the corner. I don't know why you weren't, weren't over there dancing with uh, She wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> They're keeping you under control over They there. are, they are. So now this is your first year as a celebrity server here at, uh, at uh, the St. Pat's Breakfast, but not your first visit to the high school, I understand. No, this is my old high school. It used to be Charlebois High School, so I spent five years. Uh, no, I didn't repeat a grade, uh, right to grade 13. So it's great to be back here. and. Uh, it's amazing to see the school and the fac faculty and the kids coming together and raising some money for cancer research. Well, we sure are appreciative of, uh, of your presence here today, and it's really exciting to have your eggs served by the chief of police. Uh, that's right. It's amazing. They keep running out of bacon, though. There, there's been some fights over there, but I'm, I'm good over here. That has nothing to do with me, I swear. Okay. I wasn't serving too much bacon earlier. Okay, good. All right, so now, one of the head organizers of this year's St. Pat's Breakfast, Jamie O'Neill, you're a teacher here at the school, but you have been participating with the breakfast for 11 years now? That's correct. It was started 11 years ago, and everybody thought it was for a great cause. There are a lot of people in our school community that have been affected by cancer, and, you know, this is a great way to help. Okay, we've got to talk about your haircut. <laughs> you did not show up to the school this morning looking like this. Absolutely not, and uh, I'll be honest, I wouldn't be talking to you right now if I know what it looks like. I haven't looked yet. I swear it is a very flattering look for you. I've been told that my style's kind of taken a header. <laughs> Jamie uh, took part in the Hair Today, Gone Tomorrow head shaving uh, game that happened a little bit earlier in the morning. You're a very good sports sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, now let's move along here. We've got the co-chair of the St. Pat's Breakfast. She's also a student here at the school. How has your morning been so far? It has been very good. I think the turnout was really good, and I think everyone's enjoying their time now. Yeah. How much work did you have to put into this breakfast? It's been a lot. I say um, a lot of preparations gone into this, donating money, raising money. Uh, we've done a lot of spirit days to raise money for this event, and I think it's been really good. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. And why do you want to participate in the breakfast? Well, um, I think cancer affects a lot of people in our school and even in our community, and I think as a school, we like to include others, and we always try to do things for others. Go to the Ottawa Regional Cancer Foundation.